this episode, we make the 289 mile return trip home from Amana, Iowa, with both electric trucks and the Airstream. We'll talk through our trip stats and manage a strong headwind on our return. Stay tuned to be a part of the adventure. That is a wrap on the charged rally. Oliver and I had to take off a little bit earlier than Steve and the girls, um, and he's gonna take the camper back with a lightning. Oliver has a soccer game, so we're headed back to Lincoln for that. Um, but we had such a blast at the charged rally. I'm sure Steve and I will sit down and kind of do a recap of it when we get back to the house. But uh, Oliver and I are in the R1T. We have a pretty good headwind today, so it'll be interesting to see where we end up with consumption and stuff. Right now we're sitting at one and a half. Uh, I mean, I'm going, you know, 75, but uh, we are gonna, I think, do two shorter charge stops uh, just because of the headwind to make sure we're good, no issues or anything. Um, so we're gonna be stopping in the Des Moines area first, and then again, um, I think maybe Council Bluffs area. So, but uh, let's get down the road. charging we varied from between like 1.5 miles per kilowatt per kilowatt hour to up to 1.9 so we do not need to charge very long here and Oliver is hungry um I considered like going on to another charger but Oliver was hungry so I was like well we'll just stop and get some food and go to the bathroom and all that stuff so we better uh, get going so that we get done before the car is done there you get it. Hit stop. All right, what do we get? Oh, the screen's so hard to read right now. Twelve dollars and twenty-one cents. Seventy-six. We went from forty-seven to seventy-six. Forty-two kilowatts. I don't see. It. No, if you can see any of it. There we go. Should I get this out? Yeah. Get it. You got it. Here, make it click. There we go. 1393. I see all of that. Hopefully. Jesse's activated. Woo! And so, we're going to here. We're gonna pick our first charger. We're hoping to make it to Des Moines. It'll be kind of a trek. Especially with the wind head on. It says 103, but I believe it's actually, yeah, 117, so. All right, let's hit the road. Charge Rally was a success. We loved it, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. So let's do a little what we liked the most about it. The thing that I liked about it was finding a lot of like-minded people that uh, are interested in EVs and RVs and kind of meshing them together and just 
really getting down to what you know people like about it and what they see in the future for the change that's just exciting to me that there's a community out there that can be brought together and uh, discuss that and really see that things can come together all right i'm gonna pass it to kennedy there's ki other kids living in like the same like areas as we are and they're actually able to understand more what it's like towing with an EV and understanding that like sometimes there's these things that happen that when you notice that this isn't what everybody experiences when towing just anything and I just kind of noticed that um, there's other kids with the same like realities in life that understand that things aren't the same when you tow with an electric car as a gas car and that kind of I don't know I, I just kind of like that knowing that yeah so my favorite part was probably all the kids there um and the dogs but um because what no that's what i thought you'd say and um it was really fun because i've never seen like corgis before in real life but i but it, uh, there was a ton of corgis but and they were so cute my favorite one was science we pulled into Waukee to the Electrify America, right, girls? Come and go. Uh, yeah, it's at the come and go. Looks like it's trying to start charging here. Uh, we got our. We had to disconnect the trailer. Uh, we'll charge eighty percent here since we're in the lightning. It just makes sense, and then we'll have to make an extra stop because of the twenty to twenty-five mile an hour headwind that we're in. So let's just. Okay, more stops is fine. What? Yeah, we're in Omaha. No, we're in Waukee or something like that. It's basically Des Moines. Um, I'm so confused. Yeah, so, okay. That sounds like something. Should we go inside? It'll probably be about 45 minutes here. Yeah, so. treat. We'll go get a treat? Let's go get a treat. Yeah. And then we'll come back out, let Bella... Fun fact about Bella, quickly. Bella loves catching flies. Yeah. And sometimes there was some fly in the feet. car, and we were going to get her a tree if she could catch it, but we got the fly out the window. <laughs> All right. 7 to 80%. Let's we'll see how long it takes. Let's do this. Snap. All right. So we've been sitting here for 45 minutes. Got a decent charge. 79. Yeah. We'll hit 80, which is pretty good pretty good on it for this truck um it'll probably be about how long did i say 46 minutes <clears throat> so yeah it's probably because it's 60 degrees out the fan hasn't had to run too much so not too much thermal uh resistance so anyways did you girls have a good stop yep it's 305 right now and i'm lately like we started at two no, well, we like started at noon. <laughs> 223 is when we started. Oh, okay. Well, we hit 80%. Should we go on plug so we're not sitting here too much longer? Yeah, yeah I'm right. bored. All right, me too. Bye! Right at 80%, drops down to 60 kilowatts. So that's why I'm unplugging now. Stop. All right. And... Unplug. Uh, there we go. Updating how much did it cost? Got 97 kilowatt hours. $32. Let's get this show on the road. We'll go hook the camper up and get going.
lightning in the wild. That's our first lightning in the wild. I need to use the Chatamo, so I am going to have to back in. Okay, better pay attention to that. Unfortunately, when we were transferring files, we lost the last charging session and the last leg of our trip home for Oliver and I in the R1T. The charge was free because of station issues. Because of those issues, we had to pull into the charger uniquely to reach a charger that was working. So we got a little creative, got a charge, and made it home safely. So we're at Boca, Iowa here. We're going to see if this works. What we have going on here is a little bit lesser of a charger. It's CCS, but it should charge it anywhere from 60 to 80 kilowatts. My guess is about 65. Yeah, but um, we didn't have to unhook, which is kind of nice. It'll be interesting getting out of here, though, um, by myself. But we'll make her work. And then it says you can access it through the Ford app. So that's going to be what I'm going to try. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll let you know if I it works. I blue talkie so my tongue's blue. Okay, so it did not work from the actual Ford app. So I had to download the Green Lots Recharge app. And now it's initiating. We will see. So... There we go, it's going. Sixty-five kilowatts. We gotta get to thirty-two percent, so we'll be here for a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go take dog for a walk. There's a nice little green area over here. Probably hang out in the camper for a little bit and then hit the road. All right, so we've been here a lot longer than we, than we thought. Kennedy needed a little bit of a sleep, a nappy poo, which is fine. Uh, she's feeling better now, so. Um, we were only gonna charge at 32%. Well, we're at 88%, and it has taken a long time, an hour and a half, so. Um, we now have plenty of charge to get all the way home, so that's nice. We don't have to stop in Council Bluffs, but. It would have been a lot faster to stop in Council Bluffs and go, but sometimes you just need to take a little time and let uh, things be. So that's what we did. We're at 88%. I'm going to let it creep up to probably 90% and then hit the road. It's actually pretty nice coming here to Casey's in Avoca, Iowa. As you can see, I didn't have to unhook. And then you have the Casey's right there. They have uh, good stuff to eat. Uh, since Kennedy wasn't feeling the, the best, we just ate some soup, but um, ate it in the camper. And now we're just going to head out. The only bad thing is it's going to be a bit difficult kind of backing up here. Uh, kind of blinded um, for me, so I'll just have to take it slow but I should be able to back up over there and uh, get on out of here over there. But it's probably at 90%, so I'm going to go get this thing unhooked, and we should have plenty of juice to make it all the way home. If not, there's some chargers, but, um, yep, we're at 90% here. So, oh, yeah, and this is free, so that's nice. But uh, it's down to... 37 kilowatts so 113 kilowatts delivered and um, went from 5 to 90 percent all right let's pray I can back out of here good
with that, the sun sets on the first annual Charged Rally. If you enjoyed this EV adventure, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we explore just how far your EV can take you, even with your RV in tow. If you want to join us at next year's rally, be sure to visit allelectricfamily.com slash charged rally to sign up for updates. You'll be the first to know when spots are available for reservation. Until next time.